Carmen. Crickets. No. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. There it is. Hey, you said insert it. No, I regret it. Hey. No, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. When we get on the island, about uh, um, about my disgust self spell, when we get on the island, would you like me to ca cast it after we're done sneaking on? Well, you can you be focusing more on the. Pass without a trace when we we start sneaking off. So we'll wait until we're safely off the ship and on the main on you know, you know on the sh once we you know once we completely slip past them and after everything wears off then well once we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that when the next time when, once we're on sh once we're on shore and if we run into a group. Dom, um, that's what I meant. Okay. So I, uh, it's okay. I it's okay. okay, but okay. Yeah. yeah, and thank you, Kat, for having Cortana do that. And I guess we'll make the plan for him via DMs. Because he's, it's, it's, his icon says he's idle, so I don't know if he's actually awake or if he's still asleep. Yeah. Continue on, though. Since you've done that, no, and that's right half the floor. Yep. And after reading, I'm actually gonna head down to their quarters. So, that's right, no, have the floor. But you're also gonna give Quen the look of find your own thing, find your own thing to do in hobbies. Like he said earlier, so. Uh, th that, now that we've got that taken care of. Um, something I wanted to discuss with you. Um, I'm sure that, uh, from, from what it seems, we both have a lot on our minds. And I guess for a little bit of levity, I had a bit of an idea. What's up? So, uh, given that I've, you know, now have an upcoming wedding to plan, as well as raising an adopted daughter, I'm trying to figure out what else I'm going to plan for the future. I mean, since we're living in Mirrorwood, it means I'm gonna, we're going to be start working at Barrett's Tavern again. But given all the traveling we've been doing, this feels like staying there would be stagnation and just seeing so, having seen so much of Alpha Terria. I mean, thinking maybe Lori and I can start our own business, take it around Alpha Terria, and, just, and maybe have Hope come with us to see the world. I don't know, just take it, you know, take our family and our business on the road. But... <sighs> difficult to get around all three of us and a way of cooking. <sighs> maybe there was... Uh, maybe you, could, you and the Crystal Forge could build something that could get us around. That does sound nice. And it's possible, but I can't guarantee it. Yeah, I know. It's, but, you know, it's uh, probably not going to be fully... No, I, it's going to take a lot of to save up for it, and it's going to take a while to build it, because, you know, going to have enough, you know, got to have enough to accommodate three people for, for you know, like, overnight sleeping, as well as a functioning kitchen and... Uh, an adjacent service window. Oh my bloody god, Storm, I hate you. Yeah. Storm, I can hug Zippy. you and slap you at the same time. Uh, basically a trailer. Uh, no, technically, it's, it's, it's... No, it's not. He wants an, to make an RV. An R half RV and food truck. I know, I was about to say that. Half tr food truck, half RV. Continuing on. 
But uh, I don't want to make it, it. It shouldn't be too. I don't want it to be too big. It just it's enough, you know, for overnight sleeping and just just something not too cluttered. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. And at least you have your future somewhat figured out. What are you talking about? You, you're you're practically uh, the head and leaders of the Crystal Forge right now. You got it made. <laughs> Co leader of the Crystal Forge, but that's pretty much it. Romance? I haven't really had that on my mind. Kids? Where is this thing from my mind? Oh. I mean... Well, you're a bit younger than myself. You got I, more time to, to figure that out. I mean, for crying out loud, you're hitting off with a leash every once in a while. It surprised me. Cactus, I just noticed. Stop it. Yes. Yeah, At least I'm containing it. Thank you. That's why I said must contain. Mm. Um. Thank you for that insight. Just. I don't know what to tell you. Just not leave between us. This is something I actually do need to keep secret. As much as I hate secrets, this is a secret I know that everybody is going to worry about, and that's the one thing that I hate most. Well, you know that I prefer to be a bit more honest, but if it's that personal, then I won't say anything. Hey, if I'm pressed for information and I may not be inclined to lie, but if I will be just, I'll I'll just tell the person that it's too personal, and I I am at liberty not to say. I had a dream last night, hmm? but it wasn't with her. It was with another god. Which one exactly? If I say just one word, I think you might know. Uh, probably won't since I've never really been a religious person, but... The goddess of pain. Mm. And I'm starting to feel like I should have asked you about this first before bringing up the whole idea. In the first place, would have given a bit more levity. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You didn't know. It's... <sighs> I'm starting to pick up on something and I, I'm scared. What? Every time I have a dream, I'm... I'm able to talk to one of them. And every time I do, I'm getting information that I... I keep buried and I don't know what to do. Every time I see Alanta, it's just me trying to relive a memory. Every time I see... Every time I'm in that dreamscape, 
It's just I'm scared of going to sleep because I'm going to figure out something that I don't want to. And if I do go into that dreamscape and get information, what am I supposed to do with it? Am I supposed to tell you all? Am I supposed to keep it to myself? What am I supposed to do? Perfectly honest, I'm questioning myself as well. After everything that happened last night, I started to feel the same way of what, what I'm going to have to deal with when I have to deal with it, when, when we run into the Liberation and the Alpha. Am I ready for something like that? Am I ready for that kind of fight? Will I even survive? Do I need to know? And I I want to you know, help the others but uh, even You're with the, of leaving everyone's us. Uh, I, you know, part of me is just as much, just as scared as you are but Believe me, there is a pain in the neck. <laughs> Dress is even worse. Put them both together, you're gonna have a migraine for months. <sighs> to think, I don't know that much about ha being part of a family, but being with all of you <laughs> seems. You and I have had a really good uh, mutual understanding. You not be by blood, but I guess I see you as a younger sister. I appreciate that. I didn't want to be snippy all morning because of this dream, but stress, fear, and what that goddess is capable of. I don't want anyone to be worried, but then on top of that, do the one thing that a lot of people, especially within this party, have not yet done. He called me out. So? You know how I always dance around the topic of sensitive information? Especially when I'm in the presence of somebody that I feel like I can't trust. Yeah. He turned that around on me. He started having me question on what I'm doing is right. If lying to protect sensitive information is correct, then how we do it, or... Trusting a complete stranger who could be a potential enemy could yet also be a great ally. Believe me, if you know if Saber had asked me a similar, you know, asked me about myself, I would have given the same answer. Just tell him that I was going to, I was only going to give him the simplest information since I don't know him that well. Ugh. This is why I hate the lawful evil gods. This is why I hate them. And I'm saying that in and out of character, cat. I this is why I hate lawful evil deities. Cause they freaking toy with you. You gotta know what you going what they're gonna say, but they twist it. They twist it around like freaking spaghetti and they will just eat it up as slow as possible to make sure that you're hurting every single way possible. Uh, I have to be glad it's not Asmodeus. 
He's worse. No, she's actually worse. The goddess of pain is actually worse than Asmodeus. <sighs> oh. Uh, now that we get that out of the way, I really wish the uh, crew hadn't cleared out. I wanted to find something to do to kill time. I mean, for... I mean, I was hoping be a card game going. Since we don't have a Valios, I feel I need to fill the group quota for attempted gambling. <laughs> I mean, I'm not good. I'm probably not good at it, but I do something. Also, I just cleared my eyes. Cactus on both accounts. <laughs> oh! One, thank you for the hug. And two, now I want to add homemade cookies and milk. <laughs> you need them. You need them because you literally sounded like you were actively crying. I was. I was because Nefri, every time I need to have Nefri sound like she's crying, I actually have to make myself cry. Yep. No offense, it actually sounded like you were crying not by not on purpose, but due to how Cat made me cry b without even trying last session. <laughs> it sounded um, like that was that situation, but in the not good way. Um, Nefra, can you throw a perception for me, please? Uh, normal. Yeah, normal. normal advantage to this. Normal. I think I know why. Hmm. If you zoom out enough, you'll know why. She noticed. Yep. She's here, isn't she? Cortana's at the bottom of the steps. Okay. Wait, what do you mean Cortana's at the bottom? Oh. Bottom portion. She heard everything. Uh, she oh. heard some of it. Yeah. Uh, did I miss something? And she's trying her best to sneak, sneak, um, without you noticing, but you notice her. Cortana, I know you heard everything. You might as well come up. You're, you're fine. I had a feeling that somebody was gonna come check on me. Well, that and you guys were at the top of the stairs and it sounded like you wanted to talk privately and I didn't want anyone else to intrude, but then I overhear a few things. Sorry. It's fine. For you and uh, you'll know, hear it and not have to intrude by reading our minds and without us knowing. Correction, I'm actually glad that she heard it instead of Quinn or Ackman because Ackman would just run up and try to comfort me or see if anybody was trying to hurt me, while Quinn would just barge in and not think. Ouch. I, I want to make sure I'm not mean to go. I take offense to that, and I don't know if you mean that offensively or not. Tell us we're wrong, though. You're not. I say that's mean. Let me say, she's not wrong on Ogden. Ogden, in a way, as Nefra has even, sound has even told me herself, is a little bit of like a little big brother sort of idea. Yes. However, for Quinn, for Quinn, I'm just gonna stay out of character for just a few minutes. For Quinn, on what, on what Nefri said, you say it's me, however, look back on your history of how you played Quinn. Is she wrong? I've been trying to improve on that. But in any case? Yes. Yeah, but anyway, Quintana still looks a little sad going. In a way, I'm sorry my home world is 
giving you so much grief. It's not your fault. You have no right to apologize. No, so if anybody has the right to apologize, it will be the same woman who dragged us into this mess in the first place. Okay, her and get the other one. The Lady of Pain. I've... I've seen her and... Would you believe me enough right to say that she's the quote-unquote good copy? Ah! If she's the quote-unquote good copy, then call me Asmodeus. Well, not every god is a saint, like Mistra, or... Or... Or, uh... Agma. But... She, she was bound to corruption like, like all the others that we've met, so... There was... There's someone who was out there. And said to her already, I know there's someone worth out there. We're trying to fix everything that she's done. Yes. I'm not mad at you, Stephanie. I'm not mad at Agma. I'm not mad at Mistra. I'm not mad at any of the other deities. Except for three. The poison goddess herself, the pain goddess herself, and the one goddess that has been communicating with us the entire time, and yet he keeps dragging me into the heads of all of the other deities that have been corrupted. I'm sorry. Why am I being dragged? Just because I'm the non seeker of the party? Humans are curious! You can bring literally anyone else in this party into the minds of the deity. But yet I'm the only one. That's Is it because I'm the smartest in the party? I'm the second smartest! Um, I am so sorry about this, but never mind. Null got called by deities too. I'm sorry, huh? Did you forget the session that was just posted? I'll repeat the same thing that I said in the theory. While the player knows, the character doesn't know. True. Mm -hmm. That is true, because Null never shared. Yeah, I... I'm sorry I read your mind on that, Null. It's okay, I wasn't even... A little caught off guard by it. I, I didn't know how to process it. That's why I didn't share. And normally, I try not to share personal details, but if this is a moot point now, if your marks are now invitations to God's dreams. This is becoming a lot bigger than we originally thought. Yeah. This whole mess about dealing with corrupt gods doesn't mean we have to try to undo the corruption, along with finding the, the artifacts. That might be the case. Oh, Am I proud of it? No. <sighs> Except doing a god. <laughs> Things just get more interesting. And what oh. did I walk in on? Ah, oh, crap. Just a conversation between friends, Osmond. Uh, Osmond wants to look at Nef. He's looking at Nephrite. Does he see the possible tear marks? Perception. Pardon me? As, 
Yeah, perception or insight. Either way will work. Mm -hmm. And you know what you're trying to need to roll if you're gonna try to hide in that fray? Deception. Yep. Yeah, she's probably gonna beat me knowing my luck. Oh, what it. It. <laughs> What the fuck? Leave with a 12. Okay, I'm gonna look back at my previous rolls for a second because if we missed a 12 and I don't think we did. I've already gone through the closest you got was a 16. Okay, I was about to bloody say. I've and also, if you hear popping in the background for me, idiots within my neighborhood are firing off fireworks with night uniforms to lie yet, and having fireworks within a residential neighborhood is illegal. Yeah. Welcome, Miss Pizza Brain Canada Day, then. <laughs> Continuing on, though. I'm just gonna shrug. Okay. I'm just going back. I'm just heading up for one last thing of fresh air. Okay. Just. Owen's about to say something, but he actually just doesn't finish his sentence and just goes on up. Speaking of. Uh... Our conversation that you overheard, did you happen to hear me talking about the Liberation Army and the Alpha? No, I, no, I didn't. Well, I was thinking a lot about that after everything that happened last night, and it just kind of spooked me a little and it got me thinking about the Alpha having when I have to deal with it. And guess who's here? Hi, Shay. Uh, sorry, uh, we're in the middle of a RP moment. But I, I, I oh, anyways, just I don't know if I'm, you know, what I have to, my, I don't know, both in, you know, last night and looking towards what I have to deal with, what we have to deal with, kind of scared me. I even with everyone's help, I'm not just us, but me. I I don't know if I'm strong enough for it. I don't know how to prepare. Well, I don't know if I can really answer that for you, but I know one one thing's for sure. But eventually we're going to deal with an elf, this alpha liberation. We'll do it together. Yeah. But if it has anything to do with dragons and it's on the odds that I've met, is, it, is there a connection to it? Between them? Well, between, you know, but, well, there's that, but what, those gods I, I had, I had, had visited the dreams of, what do they have to do with me? It's my connection to them. That's and, actually a viable question with me and the goddess of poison recently, as well as the goddess of the moon. But, uh, you'd have to chalk my memory, um, I, uh, Cortana, I, it's been a while since that dream, and I really, it doesn't, you know, my memory fails me for the moment. And that's in character as well, out of character as well. Uh, what, which one is she asking for? Can I actually get the baby book on my phone? Because I definitely remember, I, I, I didn't watch the episode today, but, but I do remember there were like two guards. Yeah, yep, there were uh, two of them. A uh, lady with uh, red hair 
and a male with like a guitar. I, uh, I, I, do I, did I get their names? I don't actually believe he did. Ah, darn it! I was, uh, I was so caught off. I was, I really didn't press for names. Almost, I did the same thing when I first met Alanta. I just. Just focused on talking to them and didn't bother to ask. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. <sighs> You're better than me. Instead of trying to communicate with them, get to know them, I press for names and try to remember who they are. And that's where my lapse of judgment comes in. Is Especially more recent. <sighs> really gotta find find a way to just ease our minds. Where, like I said, wish they wish they hadn't cleared out. Maybe they could have left a deck of cards or something. Laugh because I just saw Saber zoom onto my screen and I zoomed in at about maybe 70 and I did not notice Saber coming in. So when I saw him just zoom in, I just started giggling. <laughs> That's okay. I noticed he was actually in the kitchen a little bit earlier. I missed that. Yep. Oh. Still focus on the RP. Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know what? Just for the heck of it, we let's just say we him coming in that fast. It's like, oh, finally awake. Is Shan on the PC? Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, he is, and he's on roll twenty. Just wondering why I can't hear him. Uh. Yeah, I see you. We see you typing. Yeah. Yeah, we see you it typing. Might be, we can, I just can't hear you. Might be a headset. Yeah. Might be a headset thing. Oh, nuts. Check your settings. Yeah, headset. Sorry. You're fine. We understand you just woke up. Yeah. He's doing that disconnect reconnect. Mm. Still can't hear you. That's okay, Luna Corva, that's okay. It's okay, right. it's okay. Up until he gets the fix, let's try to continue the conversation. Technically, you can. Bit. So, if Luna Corva wants to be chatting in the sidebar, then go ahead. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think, I think it's, unless we got anything else to say, we may probably need to move on. Yeah. And... That mic is going to be passed. I can try to help Luna Corva with his stuff. Yeah, and I shall mute for the rest of it. Yep. All right, so we got this group all done. Anyone else want to do any RP before we move on? Nope. Not for me. So, yeah. Just after sidebar stuff that I said I've been doing. He's just gonna head back and give a polite head nod to the group before heading back to the cabin. Yes, 
now. Hello, Hello can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. Can. So. My phone right now, something fucking weird is going on with my headset. I, well, specifically the mic, like I can hear you guys fine, but I am muting and unmuting. I'm joining and dis- I'm connecting and disconnecting. I'm unplugging and plugging the mic back in. Nothing is happening. I'm still not coming through. So I'm just restarting my entire computer now to see if that helps. Okay. That's okay. All right. So, uh, oh, uh, did he leave? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he so just jumped bad. out so he can restart. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys so want to wait until he comes through. back? Or? Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So until then, I will say this right now, though. Again, I do want to give the hugs. Too sound. Dang. And I'm surprised none of you caught my comment just above Lunacorva's hello. What, do we need another spa episode? I mean... Dude's an everybody having a visit from the goddess of pain, possibly. <laughs> Pain. All I know is pain. Yeah, Deathbed's gonna need like a year's worth of therapy to help help with this. Yeah. Especially with you calling her out. One thing the party never did. You called her out. Uh, I wasn't planning to. to (laughs) When I was this way, Augment has only called Nephrite out once. You know, what I don't understand is, why is Nephrite the only one, one that's getting called by gods? Can I give she's my not. Can I give she's my She's not. But, yeah, but technically she's not. Nala got visited by two gods. She's only being visited by gods one at a time, and a lot are coming in quickly behind. It's just yeah. spectating all of it. But well, get- my bad. I meant to say, why, why are Nala and Nephrite the only ones? Can I, again, do I, can I get my theory? Sure. Sorry. I think the gods are visiting Nephrite more because of her level-headedness is option one. Option I two... Option two is that... Could it be that they're trying to visit Ogmin, but they're being somehow diverted to Nephrite? Because remember what happened in this past dream with Avalon. In case this one with Avalon just this session. Oh. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello? Yes, yes. Thank yes. God. <laughs> okay. Restarting the computer seemed to help. Anyway, I was gonna say, uh, permission to pull a Kylum and say that and say that Saber has been there the whole time. Please, I want to see this joke. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, let me roll a d20 to, to, um, check that. So, 1 to 10, that would be a no. 11 to 20, that'd be a guess? Um, I would say 7 to 1 is a no. <laughs> he was there! He was it's there! It's a drama! The guy's a little drama, so he was there. He knows bonus. everything. I have added my stealth bonus to that. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> well, which is no bonus. Okay, so say for um, Drax. No. <laughs> no, he's Groot. <laughs> Continuing no, he on. Just, no, he just doesn't draw attention to himself. Yeah. <laughs> <Are you wrong? laughs> Saber is literally the definition of a ninja. But Saber knows everything since he heard everything. Yep, so, do you need a quick summary of what's just been said? Yes, please. Uh, yes, please. You, you, from what you've heard, that Nephrite and all had dreams about gods. Um, she recently had a dream uh, with the goddess of, of the Lady of Pain. And Cortana saying that, I'm sorry, my home world is, um, is uh, torturing you guys. And for the fact that Nephrite says she needs more therapy, even though she doesn't want to. I said that as a joke. No, we said that as a joke. I know. But Nephrite's really stressed about this stuff. To the point we might need another spa episode or if Nephrite needs therapy. Do they even have therapy in this world? Yes, yes they do. Yes they do. Continuing on. 
But let's stop getting sidetracked and let Luna Corva join in. Well, sorry, uh, have sorry, have they no have they noticed Saber yet? Um, uh, everyone at the table, roll perception. Can I just willingly fail and let the thing go through? Because I want to the whole time to just say I heard sorry, everything. Rolling, and if they're rolling perception, I'll. And if they're rolling perception, uh, can we just take my passive stealth? Since he's not actively trying to be hidden, he's just really hard to notice. Sure. Yeah. Your passive stealth is, is your stealth bonus plus 10, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That would be 18. Jeez. I am just willing to oh. fail. <laughs> 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 Ask the joke, what's going can I say this? So it's funny because Nolan was jokingly noticing earlier and he noticed this time. <laughs> I willingly fail. I'm not rolling. I willingly fail. Well, well he's I right behind it. you if you think about it. Yeah. Um, yep. As far as Rose go, Nolan is the only one in ice that can see him. Oh, there you are. What do you mean, there I am? I've been here. Oh, yeah. Of course. I'm curious about yeah. you all. And it seems you're having an interesting discussion. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's just that, uh... When, I, when we woke up, you were just... So sound asleep, we didn't want to disturb you. Yeah, I, woke, I woke him up so to have breakfast and to discuss our plans at, at the port. Indeed. Yeah, out of character, with... God damn it! My character's gonna get. God damn it! There's gonna be narcolepsy stuff about my character now, isn't there? I mean, uh, I wouldn't put it past him because if Sandra suffers narcolepsy, Nephrite also is very much. Very much. <laughs> no, just because I just in real life and keep kept twice missed the uh, session time. I'm sorry about that. It, it's, it's all right. Well, be fine. Yeah, we can work around it. You know, sort of retcon it a little. <laughs> but since since you're still here and you've pretty much heard everything, we might as well just lay it all out. Really? Sooner or later, you're gonna find out. You already found out about Augman and his Augman and Avalon, so would you two be okay if Saber knows the full story? Basically about how we came about to our abilities and whatnot. In a sense, since he knows now that we have some kind of tie to the deities. Thanks again, Ogman. Hey, that was, again, technically. Okay, let me explain this. The Leviathan thing technically was beyond my control. And for the sake of time and brevity, let's just say Nephrite gives him a quick rundown of what's been going on with the party. Not everything, but everything that he's pretty much can piece together. You okay? The okay with that shit? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So she's showing Saber the mark on her hand, explaining her the party's connections to the deities. She's not mentioning the artifacts. So she's not really explaining why the party is going to the porch. But just the marks, the connection to the deities, and how the marks just gives them new special abilities. Since he already knows about the dream, because hi, standing there in plain sight. (laughs) 
The smile on Saber's face is the unsettling combination of someone looking at an insect under a microscope, as well as a cat with a particularly fun new mouse. I see. You really are interesting people. You get that a lot. I'm sure you do. <coughs> Sorry about that, that's ring ring, ring ring. Uh, ring ring on who in particular? Everybody or just one person? Sidebar. Cortana. Yeah. Gotcha. Yes, I'm now trying to find find where you are. Bottom bottom there's a bunny tang. I'm just gonna move out to about maybe fifty. Yep. You guys continue your conversation. I'm gonna head down down below deck. Okay. In the meantime, Saber, yeah. do you have anything to kill time with? We just were discussing that. I have a game of cards if you're interested. Yeah. Too bad one of our we did have a paladin with us, Evelios. He was he, he seemed to be kind of fond of gambling. You would have liked them, but I've always wanted to give it a shot. Of course. Oh, join. It was well since I played cards. And somebody remind us how the hell are we supposed to be playing cards in D and D? Is that a rule? You know, it it could be you know uh, insight deception, or we can just go full on rollies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if this were Pathfinder, there's actually a rules for how to how to play poker in D in in the game. Oh my goodness, I would love to. Yeah. But yes, three dra three dragons anti. Have either of you heard of it? Uh, not that much, but uh, I think I witnessed. I, I might have witnessed Evelios play it when we were in Mirrorwood, but yeah, that was the I... game he played with me. <laughs> okay. Yep, and that one ended up with um, rollings. Okay, so just. D just a single d20 between each of us. Mm -hmm. we add any, do we add any of our attributes or skills to nope, the Nope, just uh, you know, go to the, uh, the little bar in the upper left and click on the d20. Uh, DM question, wouldn't your uh, bluff or insight, uh, insight be able to help in this case? Not Sorry, deception or insight yeah. be able to help you in this case? I, I would have thought uh, it would. What, what will happen is um, you guys will roll the d20s at, as a whisper to the GM. And then okay. and then you use insight or deception to gamble. Ah, I see. So the d20 reference just your pure luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, so dice... Uh, how do I whisper to GM? Just uh, uh, character sheet and click on to GM. Gotcha. And then to uh, before you roll your uh, deception or insight, click back to public. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, how do I roll yeah. a how do I roll a base d twenty? Uh, do you see that bar in the upper left? The the icon below the ruler, and then go down to where it okay, says. Okay, sorry. D20. If I click to, 
if I click to GM on the character sheet, it will uh, go to the GM. Okay. Um, actually, guys, guys, if you go up to where the di the dice is on that separate sheet, you there's a little box at the top left oh, corner yep, says yep, to GM because oh. I can so, everyone yeah. can see nulls and and shades. Oh, darn! Sorry, sorry. So, click on okay, that one the... first, and then. All right. Well, the disregard GM. that one. So sorry about yeah, that. So Disregard those two, but you can keep mine. Yep. Because... I, I see yours, Nefri. Oh, jeez, yep. and, uh... Mark it. Say anything. <laughs> Mark it after said that. this. Mark it after this, okay? Okay. We don't want to give it away what it is. <laughs>